every single week. Lady is Years of Power of Engineering to help you. Yes, you find all the things you want online at digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, this week, so let's go to the overhead and I'll show what I was just showing, which is um, hacking this electronic kids toy. Um, and I'm plugging in an I2S amplifier into my ESP32 board to get a uh, nice quality audio, which I'm gonna be able to demo again. Okay, so um, the ITS audio sounds really good. The speaker sounds really good. It runs off of rechargeable batteries because I'm using a boost converter. Everything's great. And um, the connector that I'm using on this board is a Molex Pico blade. And I realized I hadn't covered Molex Pico blades um, before on the show, and I wanted to show them off. And um, so let me demo why you'd want to use a Pico blade. So this is my. Hold on a second. Let me grab. I've got like, okay, so I've got like a fun house board here. So this fun house board has um, JST three pin connectors on the side uh, and um, also has a STEM IQT. So the STEM IQT is JST SH, which is not, you know, not a bad connector, but the a very common connector you're going to see in the real world um, is the 1.25 millimeter pitch. Um, Molex Pico blade, and it, what's nice about it is the the Pico is 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 a fine word to use for it because you can see how thin it is compared to this JST PH. It's a very skinny connector, but it's nice and solid. Um, it's from Molex, and they make really good stuff. Um, the blade is because the contacts actually, if you look carefully, they're kind of bladed. You know, they're not pins. Um, they're flats and that actually makes them also much more durable, uh, especially if you have like a lot of uh, cycles connect and disconnect. Um, they don't bend. I've never had a Pico blade uh, bend or crack on me. Um, I have had pins on other connectors. You know, they, if you don't get it quite right, something catches, uh, they'll bend inside the contact. These um, don't seem to. Another thing I really like is that there's this little uh, cutout here so you can see that the contacts are there and straight so you can you know before you connect something um and then this is the uh contacts which is the um sockets which go into in this case the speaker so let's go to the computer um so like i said they're called molex pico blade now one thing i noticed while searching is that there's actually uh, well first off um did you keep change their front page so Check that out. New products is kind of nice. It's what I use for INMPI. Uh, so Molex Pico Blade. Okay, so there's a lot because there's going to be cable assemblies and there's going to be connectors. Uh, so we want to go to uh, header mail pins because that's what goes on um, the PCB. And, uh, you know, let's say we want two positions, active and uh, surface mount right angle because that goes out the end and uh, let's just say in stock so yeah these are some of the contacts that um, you use what i like is that it's like you only get three and the three are all slightly different um so this is the series the 53261 this is the um this is what i tend to use this is the tinned version um you're feeling fancy you want gold gold plated contacts they're more expensive um, but they will resist oxidization more and then um, there's also a nice 360 um, and they did a really good job getting a lot of photos of this so you can really see all the contacts um, i can see like nice uh thick contacts here that blade again um, a lot of mechanical stability over here and then i really like um, hold on the detail here. Let's see, let's zoom in. Um, a lot of mechanical stability. Again, I've never had these fail or pull off. They're they're really really solid connectors. Um, so this is the part I recommend using. I mean, you can use the gold plated one, or you can use the silver, uh, the tin plate one. Um, however, you probably also want um, matching cables to go with it, which you can also get. So if you click on um, the series, 
that'll take you to um, like everything in that series. You're like, oh, I want like five pins or six pins. It'll give you um, everything in that series. And then you could also go to Molex Pico Blade and search for cable assemblies, which I always recommend. So you can, you know, get, um, oh, let me show you uh, one more thing, sorry. In addition to, you can click on that. If you go down to the bottom here, um, you can find, oh, under featured product, if they featured it, what's really nice is they have like this kind of descriptive text that tells you about it. Um, not all products have this, but like most ser like large series of products do. So in this case, it kind of tells you, you know, what's used for um, one amp of current, um, which is a lot. Again, that's, uh, you know, compared to JSTSH, which I think is like 340 milliamps. So you, it's quite a lot of current, which is why I really like it for speakers. You can get contacts, um, you know, connectors, housings, and then crimpers. If you are going to do your own uh, cable assemblies, you know, get the official crimper um, or get like a really nice like engineer crimper. Don't use a pair of pliers because otherwise you're going to be sad. You're going to you're not going to have a good time if you don't have a good crimper. But if you don't want to crimp, I do always recommend getting pre-made cable assemblies. They're not that expensive, especially, you know, considering you get them the next day. And then, of course, when you go into production, you can either use the pre-made assemblies or like contact your cable house and they'll make you pico blade connectors with any uh combo but what's nice is that like you know any number of circuits um almost any length so you know say we want um a two pin cable and let's see what's available here uh 450 millimeters 150 100 um little extendos very handy uh to have these little extenders uh, 450 millimeters and then you know just uh, pigtails if you need them and socket pigtails and plug pigtails it's actually another interesting thing about uh pico blade is um some cable systems again like um the jst sh um i don't believe I, i've never seen jst sh uh free hanging but what I, what I like about molex pico blade is that they have pcb mount vertical right angle and then, you know, cable connects, and then they have free hanging um, connects as well. So again, you can do the extenders or you can just have like, if you want these for free hang, um, I really like that this cable series for that reason. And again, like compared to the JST, PHEs are much smaller, but they can carry a lot of current. Good for wearables, LEDs, speakers, like AV stuff. Um, then while this whole series is my, uh, you know, my pick, uh, this particular product, uh, would be my choice for um, the great search. And that's a great search. Where can